Hey viewers, I recently bought this vintage Peugeot road bike. I want to replace the quill stem on there and put some drop bars on there. Uh, one of the funky things about uh, French bikes is they made the bikes to their own standards, which were different than everybody else, uh, the bikes that everybody else was making. An example is the quill stem. The most common size of uh, quill stem is 22.2 millimeters in diameter. But on French bikes, the uh, quill stem diameter is 22 millimeters in diameter, so very slightly smaller. Also, the clamp size on the uh, French quill stems was smaller for skinnier handlebars. Um, so, what I want to do is uh, take a uh, more a, a more standard quill stem and make this fit into this. And I could also use uh, more common. Uh, drop bars on this. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to take a 22.2mm uh, uh, quill stem and make it so it will fit on a French bike. Now sometimes uh, the quill stem will fit as is. So it's worth trying the quill stem to see if it'll fit. Um, and so you can just kind of slide it in there and know this doesn't quite go down there. Uh, one thing you want to look at Sometimes the limiting factor is the lock nut on here. So remove the lock nut. This is already loose in here. And you, the inside diameter here of the lock nut, you want to see that if it goes over, the, the, you know, the quill stem goes through that. And on this one, it does. Um, if the, the quill stem didn't go through there, what I might look at is uh, maybe grinding out a little bit, just a slight bit in there, let it slide through. But also what I want to check is to see if this fits down into the tube here and it does not slide down into the steerer tube. Another uh, limiting factor might be the um, the wedge here or it might be the stem itself. So what I want to do is I want to try just the uh, the stem and see if that fits in there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the wedge. So I'll remove this uh, uh, bolt here Uh, remove that out there and now just slide this down in there and that doesn't slide down in there like that. But I can also chest, check the uh, the wedge and the wedge goes down in there fine. So if the wedge didn't fit down in there what I could do is take a file or a grinder and just grind around there a little bit so that that would slide down in there. So the issue is the quill stem itself. So what I need to do is take a uh, some sandpaper and very lightly thin this down. Now the difference between a 22.2 uh, millimeter uh, stem and a 22 millimeter stem is the thickness of about a Coke can. Um, so I want to take uh, just a very thin layer off of this just to make it a little bit thinner so it'll slide down in there. So here's my quill stem that I want to modify, and you can see the uh, the uh, the minimal insertion line right there. And so I want to uh, thin the uh, stem at least uh, to a little ways above that. Um, and so to keep from messing up the uh, stem above that point where I want to uh, sand to, I'm going to use a little bit of duct tape and just wrap it around there. So maybe I'll thin it right to about that point there. Just maybe about, what, about half an inch above the minimum insertion line there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some sandpaper. I'm going to start off with 80 grit sandpaper. And uh, let's see. Duh, 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 duh. I want to wrap it around here and basically just start sanding back and forth. Um, so, just wrap it around here like this, and then just start sanding it back and forth like this. Like I said, I want to take off about the thickness of a Coke can. And then what I'm going to do is periodically test this into the fork tube, the steerer tube, to see if I have it thin enough. Okay, I've been sanding this now with the 80 grit sandpaper for probably about uh, 20 minutes, I think. And so now, 
this fits in there like that. Um, not all the way up to the tape, which is fine, but uh, uh, above the, uh, the minimum insertion line there. So now what I'm going to do is, I want to clean this up a little bit, so I'm going to go with some lighter sandpaper. So now I have some uh, 220 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to go over this with uh, the, the 220 for a little bit and just help smooth that down a little bit. Now I'm just going to wet sand it with some 600 grit sandpaper. This is, again is mostly cosmetic because most of the stuff is going to be uh, hidden inside the fork tube. So I'm well, just going to do it anyway to kind of clean it up a little bit because the top part may be a little bit of exposed. Well, I'm done sanding so I can take this duct tape off here. Like that. Fit the bolt back into here and reattach the wedge and I can use a little bit of lighter fluid or basically naphtha to clean off the residue from the tape there now if you really wanted to you could take this and like just polish this all up real nice but I'm not going to do that now I'm ready to install the stem and you always want to put, uh, especially with aluminum uh, stem inside of a, a steel fork tube, but put, always put it like just a thin coating of grease around that to prevent uh, like galvanic corrosion and stuff in there and it just makes it easier to get out later. Slide this in there and then I can tighten this down. And there, that's how to convert a common 22.2 millimeter quill stem to fit a French bike. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos and it helps me out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and you'll see new videos as they come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. And you also go to my channel and see what other videos I have out there. I have a lot of other videos out there that you might find interesting. And I'm also all over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there and click like on that page and I'm always posting a lot of different stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.